Hi, my name is Lindsay Clark. I am a senior here at Rowdy University, majoring in management and leadership, and I am in Professor Broninsky's um, international management class this semester. So for this Middle States project, I chose the two countries, Italy and Uganda. The reason I chose Italy and Uganda is first off, I actually studied abroad in Italy this past spring. Um, I went on a study abroad trip um, with the Norm Brosey School of Business for tourism of business with some of my friends. Um, so I'm very interested and um, very for, have first-hand experience with the country of Italy now that I've been there to a few cities. And I also picked Uganda because my plan for this summer is actually to volunteer down there with my best friend and help children. So a few quick facts in regards to both countries before I start is that Italy is located in Southern Europe, whereas Uganda is located in Eastern Africa. Italy has a um, represents a parliamentary capital as to where Uganda represents a presidential capital. The cost to live in Italy is 87.5% um, US compared to 100% and Uganda 34.32% um, um, to live there. So very high in Italy, but very low in Uganda. And then of course, US is 100% for all of us. So some more similarities that I did discover while researching on both of these countries is that the most practiced religion in both is Christianity. The weather in both countries always ranges on, of course, on a good day from 17.9 to 25.9 degrees Celsius. And inflation always ranges in both countries from 1.87% to 2.70%. So after now researching and discovering some of the basic information of info and demographics in regards to both countries, now I'm going to dive deeper into some of the business structures um, about the two countries, so about business culture, management style, meeting etiquettes, communication styles, and dress codes. So to start off with Italy and business culture, Italy and Italians are very well, education, well educated. Thousands of SWE produce a wide range of high quality goods across a number of sectors. They are always, always looking to partner and work with international partners as well. On the other hand, Uganda discusses business extensively. They're known for seeking and asking for advice from others before making major decisions within a company or a business. So now for management style, Italy is also very family oriented. They have many family businesses within the country itself. So there's always someone in the family who usually has to step up as a leader. And it of course can be hard at times since family is family and it's sometimes hard to leave the family. Whereas on the other hand, Uganda is very based on a um, ethic style of management style. So very, um, very centered on code of conduct, code of ethics, doing what is right and um, always looking out for the guy next to you. So now for meeting etiquette, how you do present yourself at a business meeting. Italy is known for um, prioritizing punctuality and always shaking hands first when you meet somebody and always being on time where Uganda actually doesn't prioritize punctuality. And I thought this was actually very interesting because as America, we are very um, used to um, prioritizing being on time and arriving early to classes, work, um, meetings, all types of different things. Um, also, if you are in Uganda and you have a meeting, a lot of the people there will actually ask you for your background and family information, um, get to know you as a person before you actually start the meeting with them to um, actually create a relationship and a bond with you, which I think is actually really cool and really special. Um, so in regards to communication style, Italy is known for direct communication. They're open with emotions, honest, to the point, but you may, if you ever talk to an Italian during a business meeting, sometimes you may feel um, that they fell to read into understatements. Whereas Uganda, something about their communication style, since they do not prioritize being on time, they are known for running over time within their meetings. So the last thing I have is for dress codes. So if you are in um, any business structure in Italy, um, formal dress clothes, males wear a lot of dark colors, females wear a lot of elegant and modern pants or suits. Whereas in Uganda, it's more simplistic where men wear suit and ties and women's wear, um, women wear many different dresses, any kinds. Um, so that is all the research I found on, or on Italy and Uganda. And um, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.